PT General is a suite of six tests at different levels. A1, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, corresponding with six CFR levels. The tests are recognised globally and are accepted by universities, employers and national education authorities in many countries as evidence of a required standard of English. PT General assesses communicative ability and provides evidence of English proficiency in practical language skills that are useful for international travel, for work or study in an English-speaking environment. They do not assume any previous work experience or knowledge of the world, so are suitable for teenagers or young adults who expect to use English in their future academic or professional life. PT General consists of a written and a spoken test. The written test is made up of nine sections at all levels and assesses listening, reading and writing. Sections 1, 2 and 3 involve listening to a spoken text, but each section focuses on a different aspect of the skill. In section 1, test takers listen once to 10 short recordings and answer a single question for each by choosing one of three options, graphical or textual, that matches what is heard. This section assesses ability to understand the main detail in short spoken utterances. In other words, the test takers are forced here to listen for gist. The recordings will be either monologues or dialogues, and will include transactional conversations or utterances, e.g. buying, social conversations, such as greetings, public announcements like train times. Now, depending on the level, the test takers will have to either identify the situation, identify the speaker's role, follow an instruction, or understand idiomatic expressions, and understand expressions of feeling, etc. Most recordings, particularly at levels three to five, are authentic, and they are sourced, for example, from radio broadcasts, recorded messages, or podcasts. Hence, PTE General is a measure of real, practical English. Tips. In this section, it is important to train your students to make full use of the preparation time. Test takers have 10 seconds to prepare for each question before the recording begins. They should use this time to highlight key words in the question and predict the topic and vocabulary they may hear. Remind your students to listen to the whole recording for each question. Point out to your students that two of the options are designed to be distractors. For this reason, they must listen to everything that is said on the recording in order to decide which option fits the prompt or question and which options are wrong. Section 2 is a special section because it combines the skills of listening and writing. It's a dictation. It aims to test ability to understand a short utterance by transcribing a spoken text. Now the texts include instructions, news bulletins, announcements, this sort of thing. In other words, relatively formal language. Test takers listen to one person speaking and write exactly what is heard with correct spellings. The extract is played twice, the second time with pauses, giving time to write down word for word what is heard. Tips. Make sure your students keep writing during the dictation. If they cannot hear a particular word, they should leave a space and keep writing. Then, when the dictation is finished, they can read it through and use their knowledge of topic vocabulary and grammar to help them guess the missing word or words. Tips. Encourage good listening strategies before and during the dictation. During the first reading of the dictation, test takers only listen. They need to use this time to familiarize themselves with the topic and pick out some key words. Doing this will help them understand the overall extract. Section 3 involves yet another kind of listening, listening for detail. Test takers listen twice to two recordings, either a monologue or dialogue, and complete a text or notes for each using the information heard. There are 10 gaps to complete, five per task. The speaker or speakers will give information which requires accurate listening and transcription. Now, those will mostly be recorded messages, public announcements, transactional conversations. The aim of this task is to assess ability to extract specific information from extended spoken texts. Tips. Show students how to predict the missing words. In the time before the recording begins, 
Test takers should read the notes and use the words that come before and after each gap to predict the missing information. They can predict from grammar the part of speech that is needed by looking at the word directly before the gap. For example, if the word before the gap is an article, e.g. the, a, an, or an adjective, for example good, interesting, then the missing word is likely to be a noun. Tips. Show students how to use the questions to keep up as they listen. Section 3 is challenging because test takers need to keep track of the questions as they listen to a monologue or dialogue. The questions are not read aloud on the recording as they are in Section 1. To help them do this, train your students to highlight some content words in the questions. These are often nouns that carry meaning. Test takers can expect to hear some of these words in the recording and this will help them know which question they're up to.